much of the nation. The only thing they had two of was two trucks. That'll keep that rat out. Jimmy Swaggin? Uh -huh. Whew, man. This work is hard work. It's Miller time. That'll do. Yeah. Got a nice wristwatch on there, Ben. I mean, he should be tied. He's the only one doing any work. Yeah, true. It's not like he's having much help here. Nope. Shoes. I love shoes. Those pumps will go fabulous with my white shirt. And they're my size. Ooh. Now it's getting real. And I think that's the final horror movie stereotype broken. Yeah. Now all he needs to do is actually find ammunition, and it'll pretty much do. Check that. Here we go. You're right. And a lot of it, too. No kidding, huh? The guy's armed to the teeth. Save this stuff for later. Want me to shoot you now or wait till later? Or these. Their shoes. Some kind of national emergency. When first reports began filtering in, newsmen and law enforcement agencies were of the opinion that this place is boarded up pretty solid now. I can see that. We gotta be all right here for a while. Except for that window right behind you. Yeah, that one isn't boarded too. up. Hey, you notice that too, huh? Sooner or later, someone bound to come and get Probably us through the window. <laughs> I know you're only. Two miles away from the main road in a farmhouse, way in back. I was bound to come looking for you. Hey, that's us. We're doing all right. I'm not talking to you. They don't spend a lot of time listening to each other. You notice that one talks, the other shuts up. Then the other one talks, the other one shuts up. The other one shuts up. If anything should try to break in here, I can hear it from up there. I'll be down to take care of it. Because I know you're useless. Everything is all right for now. I'll be back to reinforce the windows and doors. Yeah, why don't you go cook us something then? Be all right for Look at the now, size okay? of the bruise on the side of her face. Okay. He really waffled her. Yeah. Civil defense officials in Cumberland have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured. Devo ah! That would freak me out. Oh, look at all. Uh, what happened to her? Look at all the blood all over the wall. Something big must have went down here. You ain't kidding. You know, trying to get you the hell out of the way. Gonna roll him down the stairs now. <laughs> Freak her out. I just can't. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Why don't you just light her on fire like the rest of them? That's not a bad Throw idea. Throw her out the second floor window. Take that, you commie sons of bitches. Consistent reports from witnesses to the effect that people who acted as though they were in a kind of trance were killing and eating their victims prompted authorities to examine the bodies of some. And of then the asking for more Medical salt. Authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases the killers are eating the flesh of the people they murdered. Repeating this latest bulletin just received moments ago. Ooh. from Cumberland, Maryland, According to reports, it tastes like chicken. Have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. As opposed to Medical fully devoured. victims' bodies shows conclusively that the killers are eating the flesh of the people Conclusively, I tell you. And so this Anybody missed that? We're going to say it again. story becomes more ghastly with each report. It's yeah, that's pretty darn ghastly. Yeah. actually happening, but these are the reports we have been receiving and passing on to you. Reports which have been verified Door of the living as dead. as is yeah. possible in this confused situation. Oh, it that ain't good. Happening. And it would appear that no one is safe from this. Ah, ah, leave it be. Ladies and gentlemen, there is Carl Hardman. Unfortunately, he passed away recently, as we mentioned earlier. 
may he rest in peace, and thank you very much for this. That's the cellar. It's the safest place. You mean you didn't hear the racket? And again, you can understand his argument with on. the cellar being the safer no place. Exactly right. There's only one door, but you can understand. You know, you can understand the fact that you don't kind of want to want to uh, box yourself in either. Right, right. So you can understand both arguments here. Exactly. We thought we could hear screams, but for all we knew, that could have meant those things were in the house afterward, and you wouldn't come up and help. How? Well, I can play the piano. The racket sounded like the place was being ripped apart. How were we supposed to know what was going on? Now, wait a minute. You just got finished saying you couldn't hear from down there. Now you say it sounded like the place was being ripped apart. It would be nice if you get your story straight. You would, but we won't. All right, now you tell me. Yeah. I'm not going to take that kind of a chance when we got a safe place. We luck into a safe place, and you're telling us we got to risk our lives just because somebody might need help, huh? Yes. Maybe. All right, I love that. Yeah, something so, like that. We came up. Okay, we're here. Now I suggest we all go back downstairs before any of those things find out we're in here. They can't get in here. You got the whole place boarded up? Yeah, most of it. I'll be a few spots upstairs. They won't be right Look, unless they're Spider-Man, they're not getting in upstairs. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that one. They can't get in here. And I'm telling you, those things turned over our car. We were damn lucky to get away at all. Now, you tell me those those things can't get through this lousy pile of wood? So far, so good. His wife and kids downstairs. Kids hurt. Hurt, I say. Well, I still think we're better off up here. We could strengthen everything up, Mr. We Brown. won't, but... With all of us working, we can fix this place up in no time. We have everything we need up here. We can take all that stuff downstairs with us. Man, you're really crazy, you know that? you got a million windows up here. All these windows, you're going you're gonna to make them strong enough to keep these things out, huh? I told you those things don't have any strength. I smashed three of them and pushed another one out the door. Did you hear me when I told you they turned over our car? Oh, hell, any good five. Yankee fans. That's my point. Only there's not going to be five or even ten. There's going to be 20, 30, maybe 100 of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling. That was the scary thing about this movie is, they, like I said, they were very slow. They didn't move fast. They had no strength. But it wasn't the fact that it was just going to be two, door. three of them. Just one door, there would be right. 50, 100, 1,000. Right. It was just the sheer numbers. It wasn't right. the, the strength was irrelevant. It was just the sheer mass of them, numbers of them. You got a point, Mr. Cooper. But down in the cellar, there's no place to run to. I mean, if they did get in, there'd be no back exit. We'd be done for. Yeah, whatever, kid. We didn't get out That's talking sense. Exit. And we got windows to see what's going on outside. But down there with no windows, if a rescue party did come, we wouldn't even know. I say you could talk. The cellar is the strongest place. The cellar is a death. Yeah. Place. I don't know, Mr. Cooper. I think he's right. You spent two minutes with him. You there? spent a few hours with the other guy. Now you think this Sir, guy's right. Look, oh, you must really hate him. You two can do whatever you like. I'm going back down to the cellar, and you better decide. And I'm bringing all my Burt Bacharach albums, too. And I'm not going to unlock it again, no matter what happens. Now, wait a minute. What do they do? Give her a volume or something? I know, no kidding. Okay. This guy is sitting there all lumpy. We lump can make it to yeah. the cellar if we have to. And if we do decide to stay down there, we'll need some things from up here. So let's at least consider this a while. Yeah, whatever. Now, how does this wood thing work? You box yourself in the cellar and those things get in the house, you've had it. At least up here you have a fighting chance. And we have a gun. Yeah, did you forget that? Looks like about eight or ten of them now. Yeah, just over there. There are a lot out back, too. Hey, good job boarding everything up, Ben. Brains. Wrong Bra movie. Oh, sorry. Hello. This part always grossed me out with the hand. I don't know why. I know it's fake. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that'll show them. Mm -hmm. Can I have it? I just need to use the bathroom. Oh, I'll take that as a no. I am unhappy. He shot Johnny Mathis. Harry? Good. Harry, what's happening? It's all right. Chances are. Huh? What would Mitchell do? 